It has been another gorgeous day in Western Washington. You're looking live at Seattle where we have blue skies and it's pretty warm out there. It finally feels like summer, Adam. It has been and it's been a long stretch too. the last few days and today, tomorrow, heading on into the end of the week. Going to feel like summer still just a bit cooler as we are going to notice a weak front move through. Now we're going to keep the pollen count more at the moderate levels for grass pollen and weed pollen. Tree pollen still at low levels right here for cedar and juniper, uh, but a lot of us are probably a lot more outdoors than where we were or when we were earlier into uh, the summer. Now that we do have this nice weather that's around, still a lot of blue skies looking at that beautiful side right now of Mount Rainier. Westport, a lot of blue skies here, but it's a much different air mass. We got the cool air already in place with more of that westerly flow that's back in place. 84, we got the sunnier skies and we have just a few of those clouds that are in the sky right now in Seattle, but winds are calm. Check out what the winds are doing through the Strait of Juan de Fuca and out along the coast coming in from the west, 10 to 20 miles per hour. And that's where you're going to notice more of the cooler numbers or more of the cool numbers when it comes to our temperatures. You get closer to Puget Sound, not a lot of wind really happening right now. Maybe five miles per hour, a little higher, getting closer to Tacoma right now sitting at eight. Now you can see that reflected in the temperatures, more of those low to mid 80s for our current numbers, higher 80s as you get closer to Puyallup at 88. And then where we do have more of that westerly and onshore flow that keeps numbers currently sitting in the 60s for Forks, Port Angeles, Hoquiam right now at 68, even Everett 67 degrees. That's a 17 degree spread from Everett down to Seattle. So quite a difference, especially once you start to head a little farther north where you have a little more of that influence from the marine air. Satellite and radar picture does show us where that weak front is starting to make its way over Vancouver Island. You can see the thin band of clouds right here. Also a very weak band of showers, which will mainly stay off to the north in British Columbia. I don't think we're going to see any of that here, but as that moves on through later tonight, we're going to see an additional cloud coverage really start to make its way in, and then that's going to stick around into the start of tomorrow. So here we go into the night. You can start to see those clouds approaching. This is 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock. We're seeing a few more clouds develop out ahead of that too. This will sweep on through early into the morning hours, 4 to 5 o'clock. Once that moves on by, we'll start off with clouds on Wednesday. The afternoon by about 12 to 1 p.m., we're starting to see skies clear back out and a lot of sunshine ahead for the rest of the day. Tomorrow night, clear skies should be pretty nice and decent there. We'll have a few clouds develop, maybe even some patchy areas of fog. Better chances across areas of South Sound, more of Mason County. Then we go into the day Thursday. We'll see those burn off quickly, and it looks like it's going to be a beautiful and a comfortable day with highs right up near 80 degrees. Lows tonight dropping down between the low to mid 50s. Highs tomorrow topping off in the 60s to low 70s. Stanwood at 70 degrees. Tulalip hitting 72. Looks like highs around Central Sound calling for more than mid 70s in Bremerton. Bellevue up to 78. South Sound seeing highs in more than mid to upper 70s. Lakewood might even pop a little bit up to 85. Off towards the coast seeing highs around the 60s to low 70s. Aberdeen at 72. And then Eastern Washington still pretty hot. Mid to upper 80s to upper 90s. Try City sitting 99 degrees. Uh, cool down tomorrow by about 10 degrees. We'll top off in the low 80s Thursday and Friday, 70s, and a few more clouds to come over the weekend and to start off next work week.